So, Britain's roads are getting a big injection of cash, but do they really need it? Well, the IMF has come up with a way of measuring the quality of roads in the most developed countries, and this is how they rated them. You can see France had the best roads, Italy over here had the worst, and the UK, well, not far off the top, has the second worst road network in the G7, so there is room for improvement. But are we spending enough? Well, let's break down those numbers. £15 billion, pounds, that's what's been announced, but that's split over six years, up to 2021, which averages out at £2.5 billion pounds each year. That's less than a tenth of the total investment budget of about £28 billion pounds a year. But there's still a big question over whether that overall budget is enough. This chart shows you just how much the government has spent on infrastructure and investment, and that includes new roads, as a proportion of total economic output all the way back to the 1960s. And you can see how far it's fallen over that period. That's the, the profile of uh, what's coming up after the autumn statement. But if more money is needed there, the question is, where is it going to come from? Back in March, the government expected the deficit this year to be 87 billion pounds. Now, in the autumn statement this week, the expectation is going to be closer to 95 billion pounds. So, as someone once said, there's no money left, which makes the Chancellor's job this week all the more difficult.